Today we're going to be having a look at calculating rates. We're going to do it by looking at a few rates that you'd need to think about if you ever wanted to fill up a pool. So let's imagine a standard pool. So this average pool, uh, well, I've looked it up and it's about 48,000 litres. I'm just going to round that up to a nice 50,000 litres. Okay, so this pool, you want to fill it up. It's going to take 50,000 litres of water to fill up the pool. You've got a hose. And the hose fills things up at, let's say, it can do about 15 litres per minute. Okay? Now, we don't usually write rates like that. Instead of the word per, we just write slash. So, 15 litres slash minute. But we read the slash as per. But although water is cheap, water is not free. So the next part of the question would be then, well, if I've got uh, water and let's say that it's very cheap, let's say that it's 0 0.05 cents Alrighty. per liter. Okay. So let's answer a few different questions. Question one, how long will it take? to fill up the pool. So the second question is, how full will the pool be after 24 hours of being filled up? And the third question is, how much will it cost to fill up the pool in total? So how much is the total cost gonna be? So let's just do the first one. So how long will it take to fill up the pool? Well, $50,000, uh, 50,000 liters 15 litres per minute. So in one minute, you're going to get 15 litres. In two minutes, you're going to get 30 litres. All right. So we're going to actually use division here to help. So 50,000 litres divided by 15 litres per minute. And that will give us how many minutes it'll take. And the answer is... Uh, quite unsurprisingly, some horrific numbers. So 3,333 point, uh, let's just round this up to 34. So even though there were threes afterwards, if you waited only 3,333 uh, 3, minutes, you'd actually be, it'd be almost full, but it wouldn't quite be. So let's just round up to 3,334 3, minutes, right? Not a great measurement, if I'm being honest, Minutes is probably two smaller units, so let's convert this to hours. We do that by dividing by uh, 60, because there's 60 minutes per hour. So divide this answer by 60. And we get 55 hours, 55.57 hours. Well, probably, probably better for this sort of question is about 56 hours. If you wanted to work out how many days that is, you could divide it by um, 24, and you get about two and a bit days. So it takes a while to fill up this pool. We don't have a very good hose, it turns out. So the next question is, how full will the pool be after 24 hours? Well, we know that we get 15 liters per minute, and we're doing it for 24 hours. So let's work that out. Well, 24 hours, is really, well, 24 times 60 minutes, right? It's important to get things in the same unit, otherwise you're gonna have trouble. So 24 times 60. Alrighty, 1,440 minutes, but that was in the original question. We actually wanted to know based on 15 liters per minute. So let's use that now. So since we're doing it for 14,040 minutes and for each of those, we're going to get 15 liters. Well, minutes, liters per minute. And we're going to get the answer. 21,600 liters is our final answer there. Alrighty. Last question. How much will it cost to fill up the pool? Well, if each, uh, if each litre costs us 0 0.05 cents, then it's going to cost us just a little bit. 
So if we've got 50,000 liters and each liter is gonna cost us 0 0.05 cents per liter, we're gonna multiply these two together and we are going to get 2,500 cents. Because units matter. If things are measured in cents at the beginning, well, things are going to be worth cents at the end. And so probably that's not a great use of uh, cents. So we'd probably divide that by 100, turn that into $25 instead. Alrighty. So this is just a good question to kind of get ourselves in our mindset about how to actually use rates. Sometimes you're going to multiply, sometimes you're going to divide. It's going to depend on the context. Make sure your units match before you go through and do any of it. Alrighty, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.